a welcome to my channel my name is Amanda if you are new here if you're not new welcome back thank you guys so much for being here with me I'm gonna be doing a meal prep slash crock pot recipes we're just trying to really keep things pretty quick and easy and simple and not have to like make a ton of dishes and worry about cooking and all that stuff so the crock pot is going to be my best friend for this week so this is kind of like my meal prep but it also is going to be three different crock pot recipes that are rather easy super super good so if you guys are interested in that please keep watching i hope you guys enjoy these recipes and if you try them out let me know i always love knowing when you guys recreate or make my recipes this recipe actually comes from my mother-in-law she makes this recipe but she does use butter i eliminated butter this time because i don't feel like i need it i am going to spray with olive oil spray but um yeah, I don't think I really need to do the butter. So yeah, the first recipe is going to be a chuck roast ranch French onion pepperoncini roast. It's kind of a mouthful. So what you will need for this recipe is a chuck pot roast. This is about 2.42 pounds of roast. And this is what it looks like. So I am going to be leaving the fat... I will just put it in the app and see what it comes out to be. Next, you will need a packet of ranch dry mix, just one packet, a packet of the onion mix, and then some pepperoncinis. Obviously, we're not gonna be using this whole can, um, but you will be adding a few of these in there and a little bit of the juice. Um, with pepperoncinis, it's kind of inconsistent. Sometimes I have really hot pepperoncinis and then sometimes I have mild pepperoncinis. So I'm kind of hoping these are more of a mild pepperoncini because Joey doesn't like it when it's really spicy. So fingers crossed, it's a mild one. <laughs> um, I am gonna be using a few seasonings, just some salt, pepper, and minced onion because I'm obsessed with minced onion lately. Um, the recipe doesn't call for any of that, so feel free to eliminate it or add it if you would like. I'm gonna be adding some carrots. I got some carrots here. I highly recommend adding carrots to this and red potatoes so i have three red potatoes a pretty large one medium and a small and when you add carrots and potatoes it's even better the carrots caramelize with the onion and like the ranch and and ugh, you guys it's so good so add the carrots and potatoes um so yeah that's pretty simple super easy i just need to cut my carrots and potatoes up taste my pepperoncini see if it's mild or hot so that kind of will let me know um, how much I want to add to the roast. If they're hotter, I'll add less. And if they're mild, I'll add more. So let's just get started on the first crock pot recipe. I'm just cutting the ends off of my carrots. So I am in need of a really decent knife, knife set. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations on some good knife sets, um, but that aren't like extremely expensive. I obviously want to like upgrade um, from this knife, um, but I also don't want to spend a fortune um, on knives. <laughs> so if you guys have any recommendations, please, please leave some comments below and let me know the brand and where you get it from because I am in search of some good knives and I think I'm going to purchase some for Christmas for myself. So, I'm hoping you guys can help me out with that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my roast into the crock pot. Just lay that right in there. Next, onto the roast, I'm gonna add some of the salt. Some pepper. Some minced onion. I like a lot of minced onion. I'm gonna add the carrots on top of this. Spread that out. Now I'm gonna add one pound of potatoes. I measured it out and it is exactly right at one pound. All right, now it is time to see if the pepperoncinis are mild or hot. pretty mild Ha! yay but since mine aren't too too hot I'm gonna add quite a bit just kind of layer these on here 
and kind of stuff them in so that they touch the meat a little bit. I have one fourth cup of that pepperoncini juice. I'm just gonna drizzle that over everything. So we just did one fourth cup. Next, add your one packet of ranch mix. Add your onion mix. We're doing one packet of onion mix. Next, we're gonna just kinda mix this all in together so that meat gets coated evenly with the veggies. I'm gonna add more minced onion to the top. <laughs> Oh, just a little bit more. All right, you guys, there it is. Ready to go. We're going to place the lid and put this bad boy on hot. I am just taking the meat out and shredding it up. It is pretty much done, so I'm just going to go ahead and shred it up, and then I will put it back into the crock pot, turn the crock pot off, and kind of just let it sit and stop simmering and thicken up a little bit, maybe like 15 minutes. Um, so go ahead, and you'll want to do that. Just shred all your meat if you like it shredded. If you like it in chunks and you want to just cut big pieces up, that's fine too. Like, it's falling apart so nicely like it just shreds right up that's what we want so go ahead and do that and then place it back in to the crock pot all right guys here it is in its containers and i have two servings in this just for the thumbnail photo and then i'm gonna place that in, in a container um but look how delish this looks so i did do one cup for a serving I will probably have just one cup as a serving with a side of red wine green beans. So I'll be having this with a side of the green beans. So I feel like one cup is plenty. If one cup isn't enough and you would like to do like one and one fourth cup or one and one third cup, then just go ahead and change that in your recipe builder. Just enter all the ingredients and then change the serving um, because the serving obviously will be different if you... Um, do a larger serving size so that's what you'll want to do is just change it in the recipe builder in the ww app and go ahead and let this cool and then place the lid on and pack it up in the fridge you guys have to try this though it is amazing like as you can tell i feel like like you can just tell this is really good can you not <laughs> taste test even though i already know it's bomb I know it's so good there's like a little kick to it if you've had a pepperoncini you'll kind of know the flavor profile but the ranch and the onion definitely keep it a little bit more mild and tone it down but you guys it's <laughs> it's so good all right crock pot meal number two is going to be a split pea soup which i actually have never made a split pea soup for myself but I do enjoy split pea soup and I thought this would be perfect for the weather getting a little bit colder. So I'm going to show you a split pea soup recipe. I actually got this off Pinterest. I changed a few things up myself but um, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Alright guys so <laughs> this is everything. Um, I do have some chicken broth way back here um, but th this is everything you are going to need. We have some seasonings. I have pink Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, minced onion, and one bay leaf. You're going to need two cloves of garlic. These were rather large garlic cloves. Um, there's some parsley in there. Um, but two garlic cloves. We have one cup of diced white onion. We have three celery stalks with the leaves. Um, I cut the leaves up to go in here as well. One cup carrots diced. 
This is kind of a very big overpiling cup of carrots, but that's fine. You will need one fourth cup of fresh parsley, one pound of green split peas. I did rinse these and drain them. There's probably a little bit of water at the bottom, but that's okay. And then I have seven and a half ounces of ham steak right here. And this is the 98% fat free ham steak um, and it's smoked and fully cooked. So you'll need some kind of ham like that. And then this whole carton, this is 48 ounces, um, which is six cups chicken broth. This is the reduced sodium. Um, and there's one cup and six servings, so perfect. That is what we're gonna need for the broth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my crock pot with some olive oil spray. I'm going to add my one pound of green split peas. All right, now you're just gonna place the lid on and I'm going to do this on the low. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out all of my servings um, so that I can get the accurate amount of points. So this is one cup I'm gonna go ahead and put into the bowl. And I usually do about one cup if you wanted, you could do one and one fourth cup, but like I usually do with soup because it fills me up quite a bit and it's nice and warm, I do about one cup. Alright guys, I am going to go ahead and try the split pea soup. I put some sour cream on there. I'm just going to mix that in. I've never made a split pea soup before. Oh my air. So I am excited to try. Mm. Alright guys, it was a success. It's so good. I love this recipe. This was a Pinterest recipe. Um, I did just tweak a few things um so i will still leave the recipe that i did and the measurements down in the description box so you guys know exactly what i did but holy moly this is a very good split pea soup recipe it turned out amazing all right guys for this next recipe it is so easy you're just going to throw all of this into the crock pot it's super super easy and it's delicious so what you will need is some chicken breast I have about five pieces here. They're all kind of different sizes, but I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the crock pot. You're gonna add one half cup of water. One half cup of light sour cream. One can of cream of mushroom 98% fat free soup. We're gonna add one packet of the onion Lipton mix. If you're wondering if I'm in my robe with these sleeves, <laughs> I am. Next I'm gonna add a little bit of more minced onion kind of throw some of that in there. A little bit of salt, black pepper, and go kind of heavy on the black pepper. I think it's really good with this chicken. And then last, we're gonna add just a little bit of dried parsley. Gosh, that's like the slowest way to get parsley out. 
right next just give that a good mix all together and this is a sour cream and onion slow cooker chicken recipe oh my gosh it smells really really good this is going to be really um it's going to have quite a bit of liquid and you're going to pull the chicken apart once it's done that's the way um i like to have it so you guys this is good if you've had like the chicken shredded chicken and salsa or shredded chicken and gravy um this is kind of like going to be the same texture but just a different flavor profile if you like sour cream and onion then you'll really like this pop the lid on and then we're gonna go ahead and cook this on high yum all right guys the chicken is done sorry if you can hear the rain by the way on the rv roof it's pretty loud i know it just started raining um but the chicken is done and i wanted to mention i didn't film this portion of me pulling the chicken out and then shredding it um, i didn't do it in the crock pot i actually take the chicken out and shred it and then i put it back in for about another hour after i've shredded it and i'm gonna have this with white rice so that's why i'm um, only doing one half cup instead of a cup so we feel free to do whatever you prefer, um, but I am going to be giving you the points for one half cup. But this is what it turned out like and what it looks like. And here is it packed up. I'm going to let it cool, put the lid on and then pack it up and I will be serving this with some white rice. I like to use these minute white rice. I don't eat the whole cup of this. There are seven smart points so I like to have half and I think half is four smart points. That is going to be my meal, my crock pot sour cream and onion chicken meal. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these three crock pot meals and try them out yourself. I will leave the recipe instructions and smart points down in the description box below. That's where the recipes will be. And then eventually give it like a day. Um, they will be up on my website. So make sure you subscribe to my website as well. Sign up through the email. I know that I, th I'm, I believe it should send you out emails every time I post a blog. Let me know if you do get emails. I'm still learning how to use the website. I still don't even know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it so much. And subscribe if you guys aren't already. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.